Gogo, the reason I have brought you here mm -hmm. is to show you why my friend's farm's yield is better than ours. This is because they use simple, smart ways of farming. That sounds interesting. Can we have a look? Yes, of course. Let's go. Many farmers prepare their fields for planting by burning and removing all weeds and remaining crop residues and then using a hoe to construct the ridges. But actually, this is not the best way to treat the land. It requires lots of hard physical labor, but it results in loose soil on top of compacted ground. To improve matters, you should disturb the ground as little as possible during planting and after harvesting. At the beginning of the rainy season, you should grow an early dense cover of crops to capture the rainwater and protect the soil. Don't burn or remove crop residues and other plant materials such as weeds from your field after harvesting. Instead, leave them distributed all over the soil surface. You can break the stem of the weeds and place them on the surface as this will help to keep the soil moist and add valuable nutrients as it decomposes. Also, the roots will bind the soil together and stop it from being washed or blown away. You can further slow down the runoff by establishing contour bands. These are permanent ridges of soil and stones that follow the slope of the landscape and create flatter planting areas where water can infiltrate the soil slowly instead of washing it away. As soil erosion on crop fields is a big problem for many farmers, one solution is to plant rows of various trees and grasses like vetiver, elephant and napier grass. These inexpensive vegetation barriers will slow down the runoff during rainstorms and they will trap soil and silt behind them. Did you know that Malawi's biggest export is soil? It is washed from the farmlands into the rivers and flows down the river into the lake or out into Mozambique during floods. It is very important for both our crops and for the rivers that we try to stop the soil from being washed away. The process of ensuring that the surface of the soil is not exposed to the elements is to cover it with organic material called marching. Instead of burning or removing any crop residues or weeds from a harvested field, distribute them across both bed soil and the pathways. If possible, add additional organic material like leaves or compost to form a thick layer of mulch on the soil as this will make it easier for rainwater to infiltrate the ground. Mulch also keeps the soil moist, reduces weed growth and improves the fertility of the soil as it slowly decomposes and releases important nutrients into the soil. When planting new crops, plant the seeds or seedlings directly through the mulch layer, removing only just enough of it to make space for the new plants. Can we not use the same techniques on our farm? Yes, we can. They are easy to implement, they are less expensive, and they can increase the yield on our farm. I 